Welcome to the Local Spotlight on Grand County TV 18. I'm Jerry Nissen and I'm here today with Eric Maury. Eric's president of the Grand County Blues Society and one of the founding members of that marvelous local organization. Good to have you here, Eric. Thank you, Jerry. It's great to be here. Uh, the Blues Society has been around for about 12, 13 years now uh, in Grand County and does lots of great things. You bring a lot of good music to town, a lot of concerts. Blues in the Schools program, other things. Um, how, how did the idea really come about to get the Blues Society started in a remote little corner of the world like Grand <laughs> County? Well, that's a great question, Jerry. Um, and the answer's not real sophisticated. It, it really stemmed back about 12, 13 years ago when um, John Cat and a few other folks here in the Valley were really complaining about the lack of live music that was available. And that combined with the love of the blues that we all had prompted us to form the Grand County Blues Society. Uh, and it came together pretty quickly. And um, lo and behold, we got a little money scraped together and started putting on shows. And we haven't stopped since. Did, I, I know you do the, your big festival every summer, but did you start right away with the festival? Or did you start a little smaller scale with just simpler shows first? Yeah. We, we, started, we started on a much lower scale, um, started doing some shows, um, and those were almost from the very beginning held over at Smoke and Moe's, a local establishment sure. here. And um, we well. did, um, we built a stage, and that was a, a labor of love that John Cat and quite a few other folks put their own sweat and time into and built a stage that, you know, you can see when you go into the restaurant. Right, absolutely. Started with our shows there, and, and from there we... We did gradually um, move up to a festival. And that was uh, 11 years ago. 11 years for the festival. So. Yeah, yeah. Right, great. Uh, who, who are some of the people that you've brought up, either for the festivals or the smaller shows, the more yeah. intimate shows? Um, you know, we've had some amazing acts over the years come through Winter Park and, and the Fraser Valley. And, um, to name a couple that, that I remember that were memorable to me, um, one was James Cotton, who is a legend in the blues world. And um, I'm not exactly sure how John Cat was able to, to get him up here, but we did. Yeah. Didn't so, he have an oxygen tank? <laughs> I seem to remember that night. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, the, the truth is we were actually very worried after his first set if he was going to make the second set or any set. For that matter, he was really uh, laboring with the altitude. and. We did have oxygen for him, and he came back out like a trooper, did a full second set, but it was kind of all he could do. And, and he yeah. did admit it was the highest elevation uh, show that he has ever performed in, in a very long career. So you were worried that his first set in Grand County could be his last set <laughs> yeah. ever? <laughs> yes, we were, actually. Uh, it was, well, that's uh, good that it didn't turn <laughs> out that way. But uh, so that was a really, that was a memorable show. And, and over the years... Um, you know, I think of bands, well, we had Joe Bonamassa, right. who See performed um, here um, at a show and also at one of our festivals. And Joe wasn't very well known at the time, uh, but has since gone on to become, um, you know, a true star. He's, yeah, he's, he's hit the big time. Now, he's hit the big the time. Circuit, yeah. we, uh, we would love to get him back, but I'm not sure we could pull that off anymore. Is it more financial or his schedule? It would probably be both. both. Uh, I, I will say Joe has a lot of love for the Grand County Blues Society and um, continues to help out with various um, fundraising and benefit things that we do. Oh, that's good. He donates guitars and is always very quick to help out. So we've made some great friends with musicians over the years with, with our tiny little blues society here in Grand County. Yeah. I've seen uh, Tab Benoit. Yes. At, uh, Another amazing performer. God, He's been here many smoking. times. He has. I've seen him on uh, Fat Tuesday a couple yes. of times. One of, maybe one of the best all-time shows. Yeah. I think some local people will tell you they had maybe too much fun that night. Um, I could be one of them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, and, you know, and, and some other acts I think of um, trampled underfoot, um, a blues band 
uh, two brothers and a sister out of Kansas City area who have gone on to win some blues awards and have several records out and really are becoming big time as well. And they are, they are good friends of the Grand County Blues Society. Yeah. I yeah. also remember Carolyn Wonderland. I've seen yes. her up here. Yes. She's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Yeah. Um, and interesting, she's, she's really kind of hitting the big time right now. I see her on oh, that's good. festival lineups kind of all over the country. So That's good. Yeah. So are there, are there a lot of other blues organizations like this around the country? Are, are you guys unique? Or? Uh, Jerry, there are a fair number of blues societies throughout the country. Um, we are probably one of the smaller ones in terms of the population area you know, that we represent. Sure. Well, um, by definition. Yes. Um, blues societies, for the most part, are a real labor of love. Um, it's not financially um, a big money maker type of, you know, musical genre. Um, and it's, it's characterized by people that are passionate about the music. And um, we have survived some tough times up here, you know, financially. It's not been the easiest road to hoe the last few years. Uh, but we continue to um, find sponsors, we continue to raise money, and we continue to, to draw really national acts and do uh, put on a really quality show. So I do think the Grand County Blues Society um, is pretty unique mm -hmm. in, in what we do with the size of the organization we are. Now, I, I know that the Grand County Blues Society is a 501c3 nonprofit official designation tax deductible contribution kind of organization. Yes. But how, how does that really work? How, how you have members? We do. Uh, we have members. Um, I would like to tell you that it was a bigger number than it is, but you know, we have a pretty stable core of members, um, both individual and corporate. Um, many of those, I'd say most of those members are here in the community locally, but more and more they tend to even come from the front range and even outside the area because we've attracted um, a real following with what we do. Mm -hmm. I mean, in addition to Grand County Blues Society and what everybody knows about, which are, which are our blues shows that we put on and our festival, sure, um, we are also involved in, in other um, charitable uh, operations. We, we do uh, Blues in the School, which is a pretty unique program um, where we introduce blues music into the local schools here in Grand County through a variety of methods. We have performers actually come up and play, talk about the roots of blues music, all okay. the way back to you know the African traditions that came over. Um, we have students involved with building cigar box guitars. Yeah. It's a pretty neat, I, I, yeah. I think you're familiar I, with them. A, a little bit, yeah. Um, um, why don't we hold that thought? Yep. And we'll come back in a couple of minutes and okay. pursue the blues in the schools, the cigar box, yes. guitars, that whole approach. Uh, I'm Jerry Nissen. I'm here today with Eric Mowry on Local Spotlight on Grand County TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Local Spotlight. I'm Jerry Nissen. I'm here today with Eric Mowry, president of the Grand County Blues Society. We've been talking about the blues and all the great things that the Blues Society does in Grand County. Besides your shows, the Blues Society also is involved with the Blues in the Schools program and your Check Out the Music program. Let's, let's start delving a little bit into the Blues in the Schools. What's, it, what's that all about? Sure, Jerry. Uh, the Blues in the School program uh, is a program that we run here in Grand County and um, we offer it to elementary and middle school age kids typically although we've done some high school projects um, and what we do through a variety of methods we introduce students to blues music and um, we do that several different ways sometimes we'll actually bring in a performer uh, for instance Dan Trainer has come okay in the past sure. I've seen Dan. And um, he will perform. Um, Dan, for instance, really goes way back to African roots of blues music and really? plays some of that music. 
um, and we get the kids involved. Uh, they participate. Um, it's often a hands-on interactive experience. I, I will tell you, having been at, at one of these programs, the kids respond unbelievably well. They're, they're into it. Um, we, we also bring in um, other performers and who, who do introduce the blues in the school you know, through different formats, not always through a live performance. What, what sort of formats? What do you mean? Um, we will, for instance, get the kids involved in making cigar box guitars, um, which is an old, uh, an old blues instrument, um, and again with African roots. Sure. Um, and the kids will help build those, design those, paint those. Um, it's a very hands-on experience. They love it. Um, and, and the Grand County Blues Society then auctions those uh, cigar box guitars off, and it's a fundraiser for us, and it's always a successful one. And over the years, you know, we've built... I, I know that people in the community look forward with anticipation to the, the New Year's crop of cigar boxes. Oh, neat. Yeah, neat. yeah, yeah. I, I know that in the school systems, they're placing more and more emphasis on the quote, unquote, core subjects, the math, reading, and they're de-emphasizing art and music. Uh, I think that what you guys are doing, trying to bring some music back into the schools is, is a wonderful thing. Hey, are, are there any kids in particular that you're aware of that have really been sparked to pursue music? That they, they started young, I know it's been, what, 10, 12 years yeah, now? Yeah, and, and have kept going with it, that they're really still playing and getting into it? Yes, yes. Um, and we do have a few individuals that have really latched on as a result of their experience here um, through Blues in the School and other Grand County Blues Society experiences and have really kind of launched into a career of their own. Um, you know, there's a young gal here locally, Maddie Lutz, who is a singer, blues singer, and she does a lot of gospel singing. Um, and she's actually performed at our festival. Uh, really? She, yeah, last year, and we'll be uh, performing again this year. And um, I mean, that's just one example of a of a kid who has. This was a kind of a gateway for her. I mean, she was able to uh, take a God given talent and sure. really take it to the next level. How, how old was she when she started? You know, uh, I want to say Maddie was in seventh grade, and she's grade. now she's in high school. High school. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah, and, and you're right. You know, we, we face challenging times in, in the school systems with, um, you know, budgetary constraints. And so, you know, we've had, we've been welcomed with open arms here in Grand County with the school district because, you know, we bring in a program and it's at no cost to them. I mean, um, you know, we, we do it all. And when we need any kind of financial assistance, we reach out to our members and to the community and we always get help. Well, it's good that the schools are welcoming too. Absolutely. That they're not just saying... No, 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 we have to teach math today. You can't have any music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Although yeah. you need a little math with keeping beat with the music. Well, so. you do. I, I was a drummer going back to the Lincoln administration. <laughs> so, ah, uh, ex-drummer, me too. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I didn't know you were a drummer. Oh, oh. We have something in common yes, we didn't we know do. about here. Um, the, the Blue Society also has the Check Out the Music program. What's, what's that all about? Check Out the Music is a really interesting program, um, and I, I won't say that we started it, but we've been one of the pioneers. We've actually been visited from some other blues societies who have um, looked at what we've done. And, and Jerry, what it is essentially is we have teamed up with the local libraries here in the county, and we offer not only blues music that can be checked out, okay. we also offer musical instruments. Really? Yes. Yeah, so we great. have had some instruments donated over the years that, you know, in some cases we've had to refurbish or recondition. We also have amplifiers. Um, and, and the kids can check those out of the library and take it home and drive their parents crazy. And, um, and it's a great experience because it's not one, that's not one that's easily found elsewhere. I and, have to believe that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, for some kids, it's just an eye opener. You know, they, they play the guitar, they learn three chords, they all of a sudden are playing a couple of songs. I mean, the blues is not necessarily a difficult musical 
genre. You know, it's characterized by a relatively few number of chords and right. pretty basic beat Absolutely. structure. Absolutely. And uh, kids, in a pretty short period of time, you know, they're playing music. And now all of a sudden the lights are going off and, you know, hey, Dad, I want a Les Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> so it's been a very successful program. Um, and one that I'm sure we could even do more with. Mm -hmm. it, is it a question of funding that you'd like to do more, or volunteers, or both? All of the above. Both, yes. I mean, okay. we're we are we are always looking for more funding, um, and it's always a challenge, um, you know, to try to do everything we want to do um, within within a budget that's clearly finite. Sure. Um, and. You know, I'd love to tell you that our shows make lots of money. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, but what we do is provide really quality live music, uh, and that's one of our missions. So, you know, sometimes you don't make money, but you keep, you, keep uh, you know, an admission price that's affordable for pretty much anybody who wants to go to come listen. The, the festivals really are affordable. I, I've always been Absolutely. just shocked that the prices are as low as they are. Yes. I mean, it's just for the level of artists that you guys bring in, the ticket prices are so cheap. Yes, I, I, it's, it's I absolutely agree with you. Um, and you know, the festival is, it's, it's our big baby of the year. Um, right. This will be number 11 and um, it, it's a challenge putting that on because we are an all volunteer organization and you put on a live festival where you have two full days of music and then we have shows Thursday in the park and we have some fr Friday and Saturday night shows at uh, Smoke and Moe's. Um, it, it's hard to get enough bodies to, to make yeah. all the stuff happen that needs to happen. Now, are there some other clubs as well that you're, some of the, the blues people go to that are, are doing music during the shows while the, while the shows are on? Um, there's not another blues society involved when, when we're doing our stuff up here. Um, although we do get, um, there is a, the Colorado Blues Society based down in, uh, in the Front Range. Um, many of their members are also members of our blues society and, and help out financially, mm -hmm. volunteer-wise, um, all kinds of ways. So I, I will say that there's a lot of love between yeah. the societies. Yeah. I mean, we're... We're, we're small in numbers, but mighty in spirit. <laughs> I like the attitude. I'm here today with Eric Mowry from the Grand County Blues Society. I'm Jerry Nissen. We'll be back in a minute for the final word. Hi, we're here on Local Spotlight with Eric Mowry from the Grain County Blues Society. We've got a little bit of time left. Eric, I know it's a volunteer organization. You've said you're a 501c3 nonprofit. How do you get your volunteers into the organization? How do you get people engaged and keep them engaged? Well, that, that is a great question, Jerry. Um, and, you know, the truth is it's, it's tough to come up with volunteers who are really willing and able to kind of put in a time commitment and make things happen. Sure. Um, we are blessed, you know, with the fact that we've got a board made up of, f I, I can think of four board members, John Catt, Art Ferrari, Cheryl Key, and Maria Chavez, who've been on the board essentially since we began. So we've, we've got some real strength there and real continuity. Uh, but, but the truth is we're always looking for volunteers. It's hard you know, to find people. And how do we do that? We, um, you know, we spread the love at musical shows. Right. We Absolutely. go up and ask. We, we, we try to drive people to our website. We send out a periodic mailing. Um, we, we try all kinds of ways to, to try to keep the energy and enthusiasm alive um, for the Grand County Blues Society. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, it's... It, I'm involved with several nonprofits, as you know as well, and it is tough. It, yeah. It's wonderful that you've been able to keep Art and Maria and Cheryl and John Cat engaged and involved all this time. It's tough to do that. It is. You're doing something right if that's happening. Well, thank you. Uh, and the reason I think we do something right is because we all love what we do. Yeah. I, I mean, underneath all of this is a love for the blues, and 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 that music brings 
not only a real sense of history about who we are, but um, you know, it just says a lot about our community that we're able to sustain this kind of organization through good times and bad. Um, you know, we've recently uh, done a big overhaul on our website. Okay, and, that's a good thing. Yeah, and I would encourage folks to take a look. It's www.grandblues.org. Right. And um, there's a wealth of information there. Um, you know, we're proud of the website, and I mean, in addition to obviously talking about future shows and upcoming events, you know, like Blues in the Schools programs, um, we have all kinds of additional material that talks about um, all, all our kind of philanthropic efforts. Um, we talk about artist profiles, you know, artists that are coming that will be appearing sure. soon. Um, we talk about the blues in general. Um, you know, some oh, history. so it's it's not just the local side of it. You've Correct. got some background. We got a little background, okay. and you know we're constantly know trying to add to that. And um, of course, you know we have a sign up to be become a member to donate all the obvious stuff. We'd be remiss if we didn't have that. Absolutely. And also about volunteering your time. You know, if you'd be interested in finding out more, and you know, we'd sure love to hear from you. So people that volunteer. Obviously, they get in to see concerts, they get to see the performances, Yes, and they get to meet and hang around with other people like yourself and Kat and all the other <laughs> folks that are, that are involved with the Blues Society and yes. maybe even rub el elbows with some of the uh, talent from time to time. Absolutely, Jerry, absolutely. And that, that's actually one of the fun things. You know, over the years, we've all kind of had our picture taken, you know, standing next to Tab Benoit or sure. whatever. And, you know, a few years later, all of a sudden, you realize, huh, eh, he's a big deal. <laughs> he's, he's a celebrity now. He's a celebrity, that's right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're really pleased with where our website is and uh, how things are going with that. Good. Yeah. Websites these days, it, it's just critical. I mean, you've got yes. to have a good website. Absolutely. And don't worry about trying to pick up the information from what you said before. We're going to put it up on the screen Great. as well. Okay. And... Uh, it's, it's a great website. I've, I've been on it. I've spent some time on it in the last few days researching great. this before we talked. But as Thank you me. know, I've been going to the concerts yes, for a long time myself. Yes, we're glad to have you there. It's good to be there. I've had a lot of fun. Okay. Eric, you guys are doing some amazing things in the Valley. You've brought some tremendous talent here over the years. It's so good to have the Blue Society involved in Grand County. Thank you. Uh, we're happy to have you here. And I'm Jerry Nissen. This is Eric Mowry with the Grand County Blues Society. Thanks so much for being on Local Spotlight with us. We'll see you soon.